This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at writing net ionic equations. A net ionic equation is an equation for a redox reaction that includes only those species that participate in the reaction. Here we have examples of four net ionic equations. These net ionic equations only show the species that are being oxidized or reduced. For example, in the first equation, magnesium is being oxidized and copper 2 plus ions are being reduced. Other ions that do not take part in the reaction are not included in the equation. These are known as spectator ions. Next we look at the stages involved in writing net ionic equations. The first step is to write the molecular equation for the reaction. The next step is to write the complete ionic equation that shows all aqueous species broken down into their constituent ions. The third step is to cancel out the spectator ions, that is the ions that appear unchanged on both sides of the equation. And the final step is to write the net ionic equation. In our first example we have the reaction of magnesium and copper sulfate. Here we can see the molecular equation for the reaction. The next step is to write the complete ionic equation. The aqueous copper sulfate has been broken down into copper 2 plus ions and sulfate ions. The aqueous magnesium sulfate has been broken down into magnesium ions and sulfate ions. If we look at the oxidation states we can see that the magnesium has been oxidized and the copper 2 plus ions have been reduced. The sulfate ion has not been oxidized or reduced, therefore it is the spectator ion. Spectator ions are not included in the net ionic equation, therefore they are crossed out. And here we have the net ionic equation for the reaction. In our next example we have the reaction of zinc and lead sulfate. So once again we start with the molecular equation. We then write the complete ionic equation. The aqueous lead sulfate has been broken down into lead 2 plus ions and sulfate ions. The aqueous zinc sulfate has been broken down into zinc 2 plus ions and sulfate ions. Once again if we look at the oxidation states we can see that the zinc has been oxidized and the lead 2 plus ions have been reduced. The sulfate ion does not undergo oxidation or reduction, so it is the spectator ion. And here we have the net ionic equation for the reaction. In our third example we have the reaction of iron with silver nitrate. We then write the complete ionic equation for the reaction. The aqueous silver nitrate has been broken down into silver ions and nitrate ions. Note that the coefficient for the silver nitrate must also be used for the silver and nitrate ions. The aqueous iron 2 nitrate has been broken down into iron 2 ions and nitrate ions. In this equation the iron has been oxidized and the silver ions have been reduced. The spectator ion is the nitrate ion. So when we cancel out the spectator ions we are left with a net ionic equation. In our last example we have the reaction of chromium with copper 2 nitrate. So here we have the molecular equation. Next we write the complete ionic equation. Copper 2 nitrate has been broken down into copper 2 plus ions and nitrate ions. And chromium nitrate has been broken down into chromium ions and nitrate ions. In this reaction chromium has been oxidized and copper 2 plus ions have been reduced. The nitrate ion is the spectator ion. So once the spectator ions have been cancelled out, we are left with a net ionic equation, which we can see here.